Hello and welcome to another video. It's the 7th of November. This one will probably get uh, posted on YouTube around the middle of or end of December. Um, just because I've got a bit of a queue to go in. And this, I think, is a parcel which I ordered from eBay about three weeks ago, something like that. Um, and I can't remember what it is, if it's not that, but it's taken so long to get here, if it's what I think it is. But the, um, the date of, of shipping was uh, apparently only a few days ago, four days ago. So if it is that item, the guy obviously forgot to send it and then went away on holiday. If it's not that, I can't think what it is. Ooh, it's a box of packing peanuts. You know, it is exactly what I thought it was. I've been waiting for this. I hoped it hadn't gone missing. You know what it is from the thumbnail, probably. So let's have a look at this. Wow, it's actually got the battery um, door on it. Look at that, good condition. Ooh. Can't quite see in there. The clip, I think it's just about to fall off. But it's one of these. Oh god, let's take that. I don't remember it being like that on the listing. So is that broken? No, it is broken. Alright, I'll check the listing and I'm going to show you a picture of that on the uh, screen right now. So this is another The Wall. I've got the other one here, a bit dustier. So there we go, so there's them both. That's the one I've got already. And someone on um, in the comments, can't remember your name, sorry, it's been a long while, um, said they had a different style and they said it had round buttons on it, all the buttons are round and the gameplay was slightly different. I'm not gonna get into the gameplay today because uh, it's a work day and I really need to get on with some work. So, but it's nice. I like this, it's fun. You can play, it's good, really good for, um, uh, oops, I'll edit that out. It's really good for listening to audio books and playing the Tetris game on it as well. So let's put some batteries in and I'll give you a quick demo of that. I might do another video. Oh, it's even got the little bit of foam on it, although it's falling off, but that's an easy fix, I think. It was sold as working, there we go. So that must be the game mode. Uh, so it's, uh, it's been well used, isn't it? So let's start. There we go. So that's to drop the, no, that's to rotate. And this is to drop. Just make sure the buttons are working. Yeah, they're working fine. It's got some sound on it as well, probably. Ah. Where's the sound? No sound. Okay, I'll figure it out later on. I think the speaker's broken. So if I can figure out the sound, I'll put a bit in in the edit here. So that's pretty cool. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to um, the sound must come out of that speaker. I'm sure it's not headphones. So I'm going to get a um, external speaker and a test tape, and we'll give the cassette player a test. Right, so I checked the listing. The, there was only one photo on it and it didn't show the crack. You couldn't see the crack in the screen. But just for interest, it was £9.99 plus £5 postage. So I paid a bit over the odds for it, to be honest. But uh, I wanted to get another one. So just to test this one. There we go. So let's start the uh, game. So there's the sound. On here, when we start the game, yeah, no sound, so it's not actually working as it should be. So, I think that speaker might have failed. But let's see if whether the sound comes out of the headphone jack. So, let's put that in there. Let's turn on my head, let's turn on my speaker. There we go. 
No, no sound at all. Right, okay. Let's test it with the tape in it. Okay, that is just not working. Just put my thumb on the uh, pinch roller there. See what it feels like. Oh, it feels a bit, apparently there's some grip in it. That's turning freely. Let's try it again. These are brand new batteries as well. Oh, actually, they're not brand new in here. Brand new in there. Okay, sounds terrible. That's <laughs> okay. It's, uh, I'm going to switch the batteries over actually. I know. I'll edit that out as well. So these are the good ones. These are the ones that were part used that were in that. They might just be flat batteries. So let's have a go. Sorry about the background noise. We've got a car alarm going off. I don't know whether you can hear it. There's also some work going on over the road where the uh, people opposite us have the power keeps going out. So right, okay. So they're digging up the road to. They're digging up the road to uh, replace some cables, power cables. Sounds pretty terrible. But this one, this black one, is really easy to change the belts on. In fact, I didn't even bother changing the belts because they looked all right. So let's see if we can zoom in on the old pinch roller there. Not bad at all. I wonder if I can get that with better light in it. Not really. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Ew. That's horrible. Okay, so you know what we're going to be doing next. Right, so let's get some IPA on Q-tip. And actually, I'm going to use the dry Q-tip first because uh, the state of it, I think it might just need, um, it might have some contamination on it, which I can get off with a dry Q-tip cotton bud first. Okay, so what I've got to be careful of is I don't get the, the fibres of the Q-tip caught between the pinch roller and the capstan. Okay, now I'm going to do this with capstan without getting, hopefully, it caught between it. Yeah, a little bit there, not, not much though. We'll just do the heads. It's never going to be Sony Walkman quality, but... Yeah, a little bit dirty. So my guess is it's the belts, but I'll probably change the belts in a different episode, different video, because I'm a bit short of time today. Let's see if that's improved the sound quality any. No, definitely not.
Okay, so I'm just getting my screwdriver out. I know this is going to be a rabbit hole. Um, but let's just test this game again because there's no sound on the game. Yeah, so the external speaker, I've still got the portal, the you know, um, uh, three and a half mil speaker attached. There's no sound on the game, so there should be sound. So my guess is that um, speaker needs rewiring, and I can't get to my soldering iron at the moment. Probably needs just resoldering, maybe. But uh, let's have a look at these screws. I think I need to take this off, but I don't want to break it. So maybe not. So if I take this to pieces, just to have a look at the state of the belts, then I won't be able to fix the speaker because I can't get to my um, soldering iron. It's in storage, and I, although I can get to the storage, there's so much in front of it because of some other things we've got going on that I can't, I don't think I can actually get to the soldering iron. Uh oh. God, that screw's terrible condition. Yes. Okay, right. I think what I'll do is I'll go to a flathead screwdriver. No, nope, can't get in there. That one's probably going to be too small. Okay, yeah, that's too small. Okay, right. Now then. Okay, I've been rambling on at the camera. I'm going to edit that bit out and just give you the summary while I was thinking about it. This screw head is rusted in. I'm going to get some um, oil penetrating oil. That's the word I was looking for. And I'm going to put it in there. Unfortunately, it's metal on plastic, so I don't think it's going to work very well. But I'm going to do this repair as a different video another time. So the repair will be, I'm going to take it, see if I can get the screw out. The um, speaker might need, re hopefully we just need resoldering um, because the speaker is not working. And um, I will have a look at the belts and if I've got a suitable size belt for it, then um, I will be able to uh, replace the belts with some cheap belts. I don't really need it to be top quality. But having said that, you're currently looking at the um, description from the listing, which didn't mention any. It says it's working in great working order, apparently. So I'll have to have a think about that and whether I want to let the guy know that it's not working at all. There's no sound on the game, which is a key part of the entertainment. And the... Um, and the cassette player is not in great working order, so I might have to mention that to him. I think he didn't even send it off on time. You saw the date earlier on, that's when this has just arrived. And, and without giving too much away, that is the date of posting, 3rd of November, which is four days ago. He forgot to post it. Okay, so there'll be another video about this later on, I think. Hello and welcome to another video, or the latter part of the video I shot earlier on. So I unboxed this earlier today, and um, it's a cassette player with um, a Walkman, uh, sorry, a, a Tetris style game on it. A bit like this, so it's a cassette player, it's another version of Alba's The Wall. But it sounded awful, and there was no um, noise from the speaker when I was playing the game. There's a speaker on the back. Um, and I was going to do a separate video for it because I needed to get the oil and the soldering iron out of storage. And I've had a chance to do that, but I'm not sure whether this is going to go up as a separate video or a continuation of the first one. Depends how it goes, really. So the screw was really rusty. And um, 
I've managed to get it out using this uh, three in one oil. Uh, unfortunately, my office now smells of three in one oil, but I'm quite keen to get this working. That's but I was rushed earlier because I was supposed to be working, but I've finished work for the day. But now my tea's on, so I might be rush rushed again. So it was sounding awful, and I played it for a bit longer, and it did sound a little bit better. But now I've got the back off. This belt feels a bit not. Don't know whether you can hear that. You might be able to hear some noise from um, a battery tester I've got, which is um, it's got his calling fan running. But what I didn't like about this when I got it off. All this is twisted up. This is the back of the speaker. Oh, actually, the speaker's going to come off. It looks like someone's tried to fix this before. Ooh, there's something on there. There's a screw. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? So, all right, okay. What's going on here? Oops, edit that out. There we go. So we have a teeny screw. You probably couldn't see that because I was zoomed in too much. That does not belong. Well, well, I don't think it belongs in here. Where's my screwdriver? Lid. So I'm going to pop that in there. And that worries me that some have been... Oh, look, there we go. This is where that screw goes. It might go there, maybe. But this is not an ideal way of taking up the slack. That is one of the belts, and underneath it's this piece of wire has been held down by this tape, which has lost its sticking, is now rubbing on this um, pulley here. So that will account for some of the poor quality of the sound. This soldering looks awful. Oh, it's just a mess in here. It really is a mess. So I don't know what's whether it was like that from the manufacturer. I don't want to touch anything because it might fall to pieces. But this speaker is coming out. It's been stuck in not very well with this glue. I think what's happened is it's broken and someone else has stuck it in. So I'm going to actually try to get this glue off. Then I can get rid of the back of the unit without worrying about the cables. Leave the speaker attached and not have the back of the unit attached. Oh god, that's hard. Okay. Ugh. Look at the state of that. Okay, this is not supposed to be a refurbishment, this is supposed to be plug it in and play it. But not on earth. Uh, I've also got another problem. Lighting as always is a problem for me. But I can't even use my battery operated lights because the friends over the road, uh, their lights keep going off because there's a problem with the underground electro electrical cabling. So I've lent them my battery, my portable battery bank, so they can keep their phones charged and what have you. And now I've got nothing convenient that can charge my um, recording lamps. And it's quarter to six on a um, first week of July, um, November, and there's no light outside anymore. So we're just relying on the uh, light from the room. Um, not ideal for this kind of work, really. Right, so let's have a quick look off camera so I can see a bit better. You can have a look there. If you're watching on a big screen, lucky you, you can see much better than I can. So you have a quick look at that, and then I'll pause the recording and have a look off camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's, if I zoom you in, can you still see? Oh yeah, that's going to work out, okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is plug this in, get the game working. Now the cassette player works, I'm going to change the belts. But I also want to get this speaker working for the game. Because there's no point in me having this unless I'm going to use it. And uh, when I use it, I want to play the game. So the game is working now. Oh, it says battery low there. Well, that's, that's a bit weird because these batteries are fairly well charged. I've got some new ones, let me put new ones in. Right, so these ones are just had in now, and they are 
No, I can't see it. 1.56. So they're sort of almost new, part, part used. These are brand new ones. And they are 1.6. They're brand new. They've been used earlier in the shoot just to just to run this second unit, this second Walkman, not Walkman, second personal cassette player. So let's try that. Okay, so for a point four of a volt, it's now not doing that. It's not saying there's a problem. Okay, so let's go. Still no sound, so there's a sound button. So the sound this is on, but this there's no sound from this. So I wonder whether it's me just moving this around <coughs> will uh, make the sound work. Yeah, it doesn't seem to make any difference. I'm going to have to edit out a load of sounds from the family as well on this. Um, right, let me have a little probe around, see if I can find out what the problem is. Right, I need your help because I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to test the, uh, see whether an internal speaker on a personal stereo is working. I've set it to this reading, this setting here. And I'm putting the positive lead on the positive and the negative lead on the negative. But I'm not getting any change in the multimeter. So I'm pretty sure if this speaker was working, I should be getting some sort of different reading. When I touch the two together, I get what I think is a dead short. So am I doing that right? Am I, have I got this right? Is this speaker broken? Thanks very much. Right, I've confirmed that the uh, speaker is dead. I asked online with a shorts video and Inside Out Electronics and uh, Jason J4337 both replied saying, yeah, the speaker's dead and I probably need a 32 ohm one. So I'll measure it and then I'll order one of those. So thank you very much, guys. Thanks for that. I didn't, I've never had to deal with this sort of thing before. Hang on a second. So thank you to both of you for doing that. I don't really... I had to look up on YouTube what to do to test it. I knew it was something to do with resistance. Um, but what I did was I put um, a multimeter across it in, in uh, to measure ohms. And um, it measured zero ohms. So that to me... I wasn't sure whether I got it right. So that's 26 and a half there. So... Yeah, apparently I think of... So yeah, so I think that, uh, I, I thought I was right, but I wasn't entirely sure. But I've got no electronics training. So yeah, one of 26, oh, I don't know, is that inches? Battery's a bit flat here. Oh, one inch, there we go, so one inch. Just over one inch. I need a one inch 32 ohm speaker. I took apart a, a tile tracker the other day and uh, that had a speaker in it, but I think it was too big or too small. But I, I've got rid of that now anyway. So, right, okay. So what I'm going to do is going to have a look and see if I've got replacement belts. Actually, what I'm going to do before I replace the belts is I'm going to order the speaker. I did rescue my soldering iron from storage, so I'm going to order a speaker, which kind of makes this quite an expensive project, really, especially because I might need some belts as well because they're not very springy. But I might have the right size belts, so um, I wonder if I've got the right. Yeah, before I spend any money ordering a speaker, I'm going to see if I've got suitable belts for it, and then I can test the belts before I order the speaker. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. When I say tidy up, I mean just push it out of the way. So let's see if we can get a belt that size. This is just a cheap multi pack. This isn't a hi-fi, let's be honest about it, but this is a cheap multi-pack of belts. Uh, see if we can find one the right size. Yeah, would you believe it? This one's tiny, a little bit smaller. 
quite a bit smaller but the next one up I think is too big actually that's, well, that looks like a good size so let's compare them that one's the misshapen one and that's the one I'm going to replace it with that's much more springy so is that small or is that the right size yeah I think it's going to be a good replacement actually so we'll try that one let's put those two to one side and then we've got another one in here Yeah, so that looks about the right size. So let's pop those two back. And what I'll do is um, I'll test this off camera, listen to some tapes, um, and uh, see if the uh, audio quality is a lot better. And then if it is, I'll order the belts and uh, that's weird my phone just had an alarm go off and uh, um, it cancelled the recording but look what I just found as the alarm was going off this motor's wobbling around and you know why yeah I don't know why there was a screw attached to the speaker this is what's happened the, Order something in good. You order something from eBay in good working order, and it turns out the speaker doesn't work for the game. And inside is a screw attached to the magnet of the speaker that doesn't work, and the motor's flopping about inside. So I've got to now figure out whether that's supposed to be screwed in somewhere. So all right, let me do that off camera. Right, luckily I just happen to have taken the other one apart and there is the motor with a screw just there and some sort of earthing screw maybe. I know it's a slightly earlier design this one or a different design but I bet you then that screw should be in here. yeah so that motor i think that screw should be in there let's zoom in a bit just there so let's get a screwdriver bit yeah there's actually four screw holes here it's difficult to uh to show it spin it around so there's four possible places where screws can go I think this mark here is probably thread lock. So my guess is that's where the screws were. There's a bit there as well. So I think there's possibly there was an earth wire there as well. So I'm a bit cheesed off with this because uh, it did say it's in good working order. But the speaker doesn't work and the screws are missing from here. So there's no way in the world it's going to give you a good audio quality. Even if I put a new belt on, that's just going to flop around. It's going to sound absolutely terrible. So I'm going to bring that up with the uh, the seller and we'll see how it goes. Well, disappointment but satisfaction. I requested a refund on eBay and within about 20 minutes, um, I don't think the seller had anything to do with it. I think eBay has just sent it back. Uh, I put in there that um, it was listed as used, which means it should be working and also good work in order and uh, and it's neither the neither of those so i'll put the um i'll put the uh, belts back on again and i'm just gonna gently glue i've left the screw on the mo back on the motor um, and i'm gonna gently glue that back in i'm just gonna glue it to the existing glue so i'm not gonna glue it to the surround if he wants to take it apart he can and all he's got to do is break it off from the existing glue um, I'm gonna do that as a uh, 
I'm still going to shoot that as a video though, but it's not going to be on the end of this video, uh, just in case there's any problems, and I can, I'll can, i post the whole video on YouTube, and, uh, and then they can figure it out from there. So that's a shame really, because I really quite fancy having another of these. I don't need it. I wanted to see it. I wanted to see how it works. Uh, I suppose I've done that, and I'll send it back and get my £15 back. Now, it seems hardly worth the effort, but... And that's the best resolution I could hope for. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.